Well, thank you guys for tuning in to Chicago Prayer and Hope. We pray for you all because we believe in the power of prayer. Be the praying of the true and living God of the universe who hear the prayers and who answer them all in his own perfect timing. Because his timing is perfect and his timing will always be perfect. Amen. Amen. And also we share the good news of Jesus Christ right out of this true and active living word of God which brings the free gift of salvation to you all if you believe by faith alone and if you repent of your sins. And if you do all that, it offers you the best gift of all which you can ever receive, which is eternal life of Jesus Christ forever in his presence when you die. Amen? Amen. Well, praise God for his word. Praise God for who he is. Today, we got a good topic. We're going to be talking about um, standing firm and not letting anything else move us. Not letting anything move us. So, we're going to be in First Corinthians. Um, 15, ver 15 verse, 50, verse 58. So if you have your Bibles, I encourage you to go grab them, flip to that passage with us, and as you flip into that passage, I will open us up in a brief word of prayer, and then we'll begin. So let's, let's pray. Let's bow our heads and come before God. Father God, thank you for who you are. Thank you for um, your word. Um, when we pray that it would teach us something new about you that we need to be taught, um, and that you would just grow us from the inside out, God. We love you. Would you help us love you more? Amen. All right. First Corinthians 15 verse 58 says this. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. It's not in vain. It's not useless. It's not in vain. Let's read this one more time, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, and as we read, we read this a second time. Let's meditate on this passage and ask God um, that He would speak to us about what this means to us. You guys ready? All right. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give you give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor labor is not in vain. Friends, what does this mean and how does this start out? It says, therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. God wants us to stand firm. Stand firm what? Let nothing move you. Let nothing move us. Um, always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord so let nothing move move you and we need to always give ourselves fully to the work of the Lord because what? because you know that your labor to the in the Lord is not in vain so all labor to the Lord is not in vain friends so um, so we need to stand firm so what's the encouragement? what's my challenge for you all today? my encouragement and my challenge is that we st that we will stand firm um, in our faith when, when difficulties come in this life because we will have difficulties in this life so we need to stand firm in our faith stand firm and not let anyone or anything take us down God is good he won't let you be tempted he won't let you fall he will catch you he's always with you so remember this hope remember this truth Amen Amen. We well, praise God for his word. Praise God for this truth. Um, if you never came to God before, we would like to come back to God right now, known as the prodigal son. And here is the opportunity to right now by saying the simple prayer of faith from the silence of your own heart. Please, re please repeat these words after me, please. Father God, I confess I'm a sinner. I confess my need for you. Would you please come to my life, Lord? I cannot do this life without you, Lord. You're the only hope I have. I repent of all my sins and I turn to you and accept you as my savior. Amen. Well, if you just prayed this prayer today for the first time with us, we pray this prayer known as the prodigal son, then I want to welcome you to the family of God, welcome you back in the family of God, because scripture says when one walks in the family of God, or when one walks back in, heaven rejoices, and I rejoice along with you as well. And I've also been praying for this very moment, because this is truly one of the most important decisions you can ever make with this life. It's the most important decisions that you can ever make. Um, 
by accepting the free gift of salvation that he offers you and placing it um yeah accepting the free gift of salvation um it's one of the most important things that we can ever do with our lives so um if you just made this decision today for the first time with us or we committed a life to christ today i encourage you to reach out to me or to someone uh including uh our team the the team of people that we have um we would love to pray for you. We would love to just talk to you, answer any questions you have. We don't want to mock you at all. We don't want to press you. We just simply want to walk alongside you and let you know what's next. And it's a very important decision that you made today. And also, we just want to be praying for you. Because we truly believe in the power of prayer. That prayer works because we're praying to Jesus who hears the prayers and who does answer prayers. He does. So we want to just be praying for you um, as you continue along this journey. That God would continue to grow you into who you were called to be. Um, will I bless you all today before I send you all on your way? Would you put your hands up to receive it? May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. And may you never forget to stand firm. Because in whatever you do, whether it's your work, whatever you do for the Lord, and, and you will not be moved. And, and I, knowing that your work for the Lord is not in vain. Um, knowing that your work for the Lord is not in vain. So, so that's my en encouragement um, for you today, friends and sisters. That's my um, blessing as I send you all on your way. Um, well, if you guys were encouraged by this video and you guys feel like someone else needs to be encouraged by this topic, um, I, then I encourage you to click on that share button and share this um, video with some of the, these things to be blessed by the living word of God. If you guys just need prayer for your lives, um, I hope, um, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We would love to pray for you. We'd love to just talk to you, answer any questions you have. And, and until next time, keep Christ number one and have a very blessed day. Peace.